from a talented but arrogant doctor. Stephen Vincent Strange, also known as Doctor Strange, has been chosen to become one of the most powerful superheroes in the Marvel Universe. With infinite magical power, he and the other Avengers team defeated Thanos to save half the universe. And in the near future, new movies about him will certainly be even more attractive. In today's video, we will learn about Doctor Strange, the most magical witch in the Marvel Universe. The Mysterious Life of the Author Doctor Strange In 1961, Stan Lee, then chief editor of Marvel Comics, gave Steve Ditko the task of creating a superhero after he wasn't satisfied with the original idea of Jack Kirby. As a result, Ditko created Spider-Man with the ability to shoot silk along with a distinctive red, blue design. By 1963, Ditko had created the magician Doctor Strange in his own Marvel comic series. His synthesized name has many meaningful meanings as Strange Tales. At that time, Steve Ditko and Stan Lee took the image of actor Vincent Price as a model for Doctor Strange. They even took his middle name for this character. Vincent Price was considered a legendary actor in the 1960s and 1970s, with a knack for playing horror roles. After that, Ditko continued to create for Doctor Strange for a period of three years, until the 14th episode. However, Steve Ditko has left Marvel Comics after controversy with Stan Lee, but the real reason is never revealed. While Ditko was silent, Stan Lee said he didn't understand the reason for leaving his former colleagues' company. The best explanation is probably that Steve Ditko was tired of Stan Lee's supervision and wasn't recognized to contribute to Spider-Man and Doctor Strange in a fair manner. After 1966, Ditko worked for Charlton. DC Comics, and a number of small publishers before returning to work with Marvel in 1979. He initially worked full time, but then he became a freelancer in the 90s. Unlike Stan Lee, who tends to promote himself, Steve Ditko shuns fame like the plague. He declined all interviews, nor did he interact with the press, and away from the fame that his works bring. The success of the movie Doctor Strange later, nobody talked about the contribution of Steve Ditko. Even when he was old and weak, he maintained his writing in a small, open studio on Manhattan Street. Not married, no children, the creators of Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, who left alone on June 29, 2018, left a lot of regret for the fans and the mysteries of life will never be revealed. Ups and Downs When Appearing on Screen The first live, action version of Doctor Strange was shown on TV in 1978 by Peter Hooten. Besides the film's crew, writer Stan Lee also acted as an advisor to turn 1978's Doctor Strange into a series. However, Luck didn't smile when CBS station stopped making this movie. By the mid-1980s, the filmmakers tried to revive this extraordinary character. However, because this is the most powerful person in Marvel with a complex personality, the editing plan is still delayed. In 1986, co-writer of the movie Back to the Future Bob Gale penned the script for Doctor Strange, but unfortunately this project was abandoned from production. The main reason, also the image of Doctor Strange is quite complex, requiring many advanced techniques that at that time couldn't meet. A few years later, writer Wes Craven, the father of the famous Scream thriller, signed a contract to write the script and direct the project, but the plan to put the character on the screen still failed, Doctor Strange has also passed many writers and other famous directors, but fate isn't much better. It wasn't until June 2014 that director Derrickson and screenwriter John Spates were invited to direct and rewrite the screenplay again. 
After all, he created a true Doctor Strange as the Supreme Witch, with much more power than his mortal, superhuman friends. In 2016, the film was released and described by a different feeling compared to other Marvel films. Destiny Accident In the comics, Doctor Strange's real name is Stephen Vincent Strange was born by Eugene and Beverly Strange in 1930, when the couple took a vacation in Philadelphia. Knowing that Strange was destined to become the Supreme Witch, the vengeful apprentice Carl Mordo led the demons to surround Strange from the age of eight up to adulthood. In the end, Stephen Strange was freed by the current Supreme Witch, Ancient One. The film version is almost faithful to the original comic book, Stephen Strange, played by actor Benedict Cumberbatch, an outstanding neurosurgeon in New York. With his talented hands, he could save even the most deadly patients. Thanks to his talent, Strange became arrogant, and few people can tolerate his character as fellow female Palmer, played by Rachel McAdams. He will get angry if someone calls his name and forgets to call himself Doctor, a title he had to work hard to achieve. His soul is overshadowed by individualism and fame, makes him ignore even the oath of virtue, Hippocrate. On one of his trips to a scientific conference, Stephen was in a serious traffic accident. The nerves in his hand were all ruined, making it impossible for him to hold a surgical knife. Strange almost devoted all his assets to surgical operations, but the result was completely hopeless. When only the last dollar left, Stephen decided to bet his life on a gamble, win or lose. He decided to go to Kathmandu to find a mysterious temple named Kamar, Taj with the hope want to find a cure. You are watching videos at LMT channel. Don't forget to visit the new channel of the group specializing in videos about the royal family, LMT Royal Channel. Details see below the comment. Become the Ultimate Witch Hammer, Taj is like a monastery in the Himalayas, with a simple appearance that doesn't stand out. This is also where Stephen Strange met Ancient One. The alleged man cured a case of injury that Strange himself thought couldn't be cured. There, Doctor Strange is trained by the Ancient One on magic, and in just a short time, Doctor Strange has become a formidable witch. He even helped other masters to prevent their students from going the wrong way, as Cassilius from the Dormammu disaster. Strange realized that he was facing a fierce battle against the forces of darkness capable of destroying the world. In the end, he decided to use his power to protect humanity. Dr. Strange's superhero career begins here. Later, he was chosen by Vishanti and the Ancient One to become the Sorcerer Supreme, as he was destined to be. Later, the Ancient One Master died, and Dr. Strange became the protector of New York as well as the Earth's protection from any threat from other dimensions. From his new position, Strange met and assisted the members of the Avenger Detachment. When Thanos and the Black Order Army attack the Earth, Doctor Strange is the target to hunt because he holds the Time Stone. In the two movies Avengers, Infinity War and Endgame, he joined the other Avengers members to defeat Thanos and bring the world back to peace. Recently, Marvel's multiverse theory conversations have received countless fans' interest in the future of this vast superhero movie universe. In particular, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is about to release in 2021, which is expected to be the most important part of MCU history to date. The Powerful Magic Doctor Strange is the Supreme Sorcerer, so he possesses many mysterious powers that few can do. Sources of power absorbed from the vast universe, giving Doctor Strange powers such as magic lightning, 
invisibility, astral projection, material control, element control, as well as moving people or objects into other dimensions. In it, astral projection is the magic that helps D.R. Stephen Strange explore the magical world in his first movie. When he visited the ancient An. In the movie, Strange's spirit left the body after her magic. But after becoming a magician, Strange was able to enter the soul whenever he wanted to. When using astral projection, Strange's body was immobilized because consciousness had been separated from the body. In the comics, he used this power to communicate and alert other heroes about the imminent danger. Doctor Strange didn't even have to leave the Sanctum Sanctorum, his holy sanctuary, to carry out this process. Icon's clone was in fact an ancient spell that drew strength from the demon Icon. This is considered a very useful magic of Doctor Strange in dealing with strong opponents. It would distract the enemy, giving him more time to allow Strange to cast another spell or wait for reinforcements. Watum's Wind is a magic that Doctor Strange uses a lot in the comic version. This is also the magic used by Doctor Strange to blow Dormammu back to the Dark Dimension in the first film. Not only that, in the blockbuster Marvel Infinity War and Endgame, we can also admire the power of this technique. Right from the start of the Infinity War, Strange summoned this tornado to counteract the destructive power caused by Ebony Maw's boat projection, and again appeared in the final battle with Thanos when he used it to stop the ocean currents from flowing into the battlefield. Doctor Strange also possesses the ability to use ancient language from the magic book. Combining different characters or changing the combination order gives him a new power, even distorting reality. This is probably the main source of Doctor Strange's power in the movie, because every time he uses magic, there are ancient language circles flying around. Doctor Strange's power increases his psychic powers, helping him read and control the minds of others. The concept of space and time is no longer binding the great sorcerer. When you can go back in time or teleport, if necessary. The ultimate skill of cosmic magic is the ability to heal. True to the title of Doctor, Stephen Strange was able to heal all wounds with magic, even if he made the parts grow back. Borrowing Great Power Doctor Strange can borrow the power of gods and demons to enhance his magical abilities. Strange used to borrow the powers of two Greek gods, Poseidon and Hades. Three Vishanti gods, Hadith, Ashtar, and Adamoto. Eight Octessan entities, and some characters who were indebted to Doctor Strange, such as Devil Satan or Dormammu. The borrowed spells often exist in the treasures owned by Stephen Strange, such as Red Rope of Sitarak, Seven Rings of Ragador, shields shackles and especially the treasures are always associated with the history of comic book doctor strange the eye of adamoto for all cultures black magic has always been considered a forbidden technique the source of the disaster that plagues its users black magic was rarely used by doctor strange it helped him suck the opponent's magic but if the will wasn't stable Strange would be manipulated by the magic itself and become a metamorphosis and madness. Frosty Ikalong is a spell that uses extremely low temperatures to trap an opponent in cold air. It is known that it originated from the ice monster Ikalon. In the comics version, it is often used quite a lot. And Doctor Strange uses this technique to trap enemies in a huge iceberg. The Seraphim Shield is a magical barrier used by the power of Doctor Strange himself. Basically, this shield is like a big barrier he created to cover the people around him, help protect them from physical, oriented attacks. For example, the time when the Avengers landed on the Titan's planet to face the boss Thanos. 
It was the one that made Seraphine protect them from the terrible collision. The Ragador Ring is a spell seen more often in the comics. Because this spell was used to restrain the enemy and prevent them from using their powers, the ultimate magician used it to stop Thanos from unleashing the full power of the four Infinity Stones he had in possession at that time. In Avengers Endgame with this ability, D.R. Strange saw more than 14 million outcomes when confronted with the evil Thanos. And in that, only one good outcome, that is the sacrifice of Iron Man. By wearing the Infinity Gloves and wiping out the evil Thanos with his army. Thank you for watching the video on LMT channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and watch more new videos to support the group. Don't stop.